Shaggy and Huzo demonstrate the fitted harness and the wooden cart by Chalo Sulky. Bradley pulls his sulky in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> this is a carting harness. It has a saddle that goes over the dog's back. It has a collar that goes around the, that goes over the dog's head and snuggles where the neck joins the body. It adjusts so that you can get it so it's exactly where the neck joins the body. This is the uh, chest strap. It covers the dog's sternum or breastbone. Uh, at, at the back end of this strap is the girth, and this goes around the dog's chest. And when you put this on, you adjust the girth very tight, like the saddle on a horse, so that it holds the collar from slipping upwards into the dog's neck. This is the belly band. It's the back of the harness, and that goes around the dog's belly. And the purpose is so that when the cart stops, the cart doesn't push the harness over the dog's head. So this is a snugger for when the cart stops. Um, these are O-rings, and they're used for the shaft loops. These shaft loops hold the shaft of the cart, like that. So they go here. The back ring can be used for training with uh, tire pulling. And there also are loops down here if your shafts tend to rise up, you can put a second loop and have a loop here to the shaft as well as a loop here to the shaft. So that is a carding harness. It's really important that the cart harness fit the dog perfectly. The first thing you adjust is the collar. And so I'm going to put it on Amelia's head. I put my hand through the collar and I put my hand under her muzzle, and I slip it over her head. What a good dog. Now, right now, here's where her neck joins the spine, and here's where it joins the body. I would say the collar is about an inch too big on both sides, so I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to undo it. And what a nice, calm dog. I'm going to slightly tighten it on both sides so it matches. A lot of dogs wouldn't be this patient. They'd be jumping around. But Amelia is a special dog. Okay, now with my thumb, I can feel her breastbone right there, with my finger right there, and I can feel her spine right here. So I think the collar is adjusted properly. Can you understand? I understand. Now the next thing I do is I take the chest strap. Uh-oh. This chest strap is too short for her. So I'm getting a longer one. Okay. That so, could be why I've been having trouble with it. Yeah, it's too short. It's not going behind her. It's not going behind her elbows enough. Okay. And I slide it over her head, and then I rest the, sh the saddle on her back. The two of us are handling the dog. That makes it easier. And that's about right. I can feel where her neck joins the spine with my finger and I can feel her breastbone with the other finger. And now I'm going to take this chest strap and pull it between her legs and go up and snap the girth on both sides. Now this girth is very much too loose. So I'm going to tighten it about three inches on both sides because I want the girth to be tight so that it holds the collar in place. If the girth is not tight, the harness will pull back and come up and choke her. Watch band snug. Maybe even like a horse saddle. And usually it's tight enough that you think it's uncomfortable for the dog, which it actually isn't, I've noticed. But it seems like it. But this is not a, a harness that's supposed to be loose at all. Okay, stand up. Stand. Oh, what a good girl. Now, what I end up doing is pulling back on this chest strap. Okay, now the collar is good. The, ch the chest straps may be tight enough. I don't really know until we actually have her pull. Now, the, the belly band is too tight, so I'm going to loosen it um, so that it's comfortable for her. 
Oops, I did that the wrong way. No, I didn't. Now it's too loose. I'm going to tighten it because I loosened it too much. I'm going to tighten it about an inch and a half. Stand. Now, um, it seems to me that it's just about right. It seems like it's it, the collar is lying at the junction of the neck and the body. This is pretty tight. It might not be tight enough. The um, chest strap is long enough that this girth is vertical to the ground and uh, it's behind her elbows. And this is tight enough that it's not uncomfortable, but it's she's not really noticing it that much. I'll turn her around so you can see the chest strap for the camera. Yeah, so. that's, oh, that's good. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. See, it goes right between her legs. And she's pulling. When she pulls, the pressure is on her sternum. And that's what you want. Good girl. Okay. 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 We finished fitting the harness, so we took Amelia outside and hitched her up to the cart for the first time.